Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another top 4 video. You guys seem to really enjoy the last one so I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who showed their support on that one. Um, the last one was the top 5 uh, Premier League teams all into one squad and uh, you guys seem to really like that so today I posted up a poll on my Twitter page and I was like guys which one would you like to see next and of course one of the most popular leagues in FIFA is in fact the Bundesliga sides and so we're doing a top 4 Bundesliga side. Now um, the top 4 teams Teams at this moment in time, the time I'm doing this video right now, is in fact Bayern Munich out by just absolute miles, like 23 points or something like that at the time I'm looking at it. Then we got Dortmund, and then we got Schalke, and then it's Bayern Leverkusen. So, um, those are my top four teams. I'm going to be taking players from each of those clubs, putting them into this squad, and playing with them so you guys can get a little look. So, let's start off in goals. Now, before I go any further, a lot of people kind of got uh, a little, um, I, I guess they didn't fully understand what I was doing. I'm not picking the best players for each spot. I'm simply picking together a nice team that I would like to use involving all four. So, of course, you probably think, uh, Cal, you're going to go for Neuer and goals, but I'm actually not because uh, part of me also wants to make it relatively um, affordable for you guys. There will be certain players in here that are a little bit more expensive, but for me, I think Weidenfeller here is an incredible keeper on this game. His stats don't necessarily show it, but in my opinion, I think he's really, really good, and the amount of double saves he has made for me is ridiculous. Anyways, moving on, we have a centre-back partnership, which might come as a bit of a surprise to you guys. Again, a lot of people will be like, go ahead and get Dante. Now, if you have the coins for it, feel free to pick up Dante. But this man he, right here, Howardes, how it is, I probably butchered his name. Um, and the other centre-back that I had was his fellow Schalke friend, Felipe Santana. This little Schalke centre-back partnership is so, so good. I've really enjoyed using it. Um, I haven't let in that many goals yet. I guess the, probably the weakest point for them is if they are on the counter it can be a bit of a pain because uh, this lad right here doesn't have the most pace but like I said when it comes to crossing and things like that they are a very strong partnership anyways let's move on to the right back now it is piss check for me um he was the best uh, uh possible right back I, that I I really wanted you know I like my fullbacks to be quick and it's very much the same case for my left back Alaba you can go ahead and pick up his upgraded one but for me you know it costs a, a whole lot and you are going to get some upgraded stats but for me this 81 rated one just did the trick as it is. So, I've kept the uh, 81 rated one there, and Alaba in this game is just ridiculous. Then, at center defensive mid, we have a, a Bayer Leverkusen player in here. We've got one of the brothers, I believe this is Sven Bender, or sorry, Lars Bender, my bad. Sven uh, Bender plays for uh, Borussia Dortmund, and for me, I th think I prefer Lars. Lars is really good in this game. I'm playing it a defensive midfield role. He's got a really decent shot on him, and yeah, I think I definitely prefer Lars over Sven. Let me know in the comments which of the brothers do you guys prefer but uh, let's not waste any time over on to the left mid now this left mid um, again Royce would be a popular choice but I've actually decided to go with Guadrado I think is um, or Gu Guardado yeah something like that um, his previous card he played for Valencia he recently um, his uh, card got changed over to Bayer Leverkusen so he now plays over there so I wanted to try him out again if you have the coins for Royce I would recommend going for him over this lad just mainly because this guy is really kind of of weak if you you know if you're not gonna burst past the player you're you're gonna really struggle and for some reason he seems to get caught up so I'm not his biggest fan but at the same time I'm not knocking him too much now this player is an inform but of course you can use his non-inform as well I just decided to use his inform because hey you know if you got him in the club why not um it's a Mictarian and this guy is just awesome I really like his card um a few people if you are interested you can also get Diego I like Diego but I just felt as though I was scoring more goals with Mkhitaryan, so I decided to go with him. But like I said, if you want another cheap alternative, you can go with Diego. And then if you've got a little bit more coin, then you can spend it on Goatse if you'd like to. But I really don't rate Goatse all that much in FIFA. Then at right midfield, we actually have... Robin. Now, all of these options right here are very, very good. Oh, you have Robin, who's the most expensive, so you don't have to, you know, if you don't want to spend it. You also have uh, Blaschkowski there, and then you also have Farfan, Shakiri, and then Muller. Now, Muller is probably the one I wouldn't go for out of these, just because I like fast wingers. Uh, but all of these players are really, really good. So just depending on your budget, you make that decision yourself. So uh, for this particular video, I went with Robin, um, just because I think he's so awesome in this game. But like I said, if you 
you don't have um, the coins for that, these three right here are definitely your best bets. Anyways, we'll put Rob in there, and then we'll go as striker. We, um, I've actually gone for a not very popular partnership, I suppose. Of course, Aubameyang, he kind of has to be in the team. He used to be really expensive, he isn't anymore. But this man here, um, a lot of people probably thought I'd be going Lewandowski, but I wanted to try out Mandzukic, and so that's what I did. I put him in, and this striker partnership is actually really good. I really like Mandzukic. A lot of people um, will immediately jump straight on the Lewandowski hype train, but for me, I actually like uh, Mandzukic as well. So, this is the team I'm going to be using. I'm going to show you guys a few goals. I apologize it's taken so long, but I did go into quite a bit of depth, so hopefully you guys can appreciate that. But let's take a look at a few, a few of the goals that I managed to score in only a few games with this team. So the very first goal, it wouldn't be right unless I started with a beautiful sweaty goal to let you guys know this team is actually really quite sweaty and it can put together some beautiful passing sequences. So next up was a wonderful through ball. That's the one thing Guard, uh, Guard, uh, Guardado is really good at. He can actually play really nice through balls. Um, his crossing's pretty good too. But how about that for a goal from a right back piss check? That was a really nice goal from him. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, as far as my... Uh, right midfielder goes, I, or sorry, my left midfielder goes, I wasn't really that impressed by him, and if you guys do have the coins for Royce, I would definitely think about picking him up. So, um, yeah, we have uh, we had that going, and uh, this team was actually playing really nice together. It had a nice sort of synergy. You know, when you start to make a team, they can sometimes be absolutely terrible, or they could be really, really quite good, and I actually enjoyed using this. Of course, it didn't have your sort of standard usual picks. Usually, you'd have something like Neuer in there. You would probably have Lewandowski in there, too. Um, you know, there's just a quite a few others. Royce, of course, you probably have in there. But this one was a little bit different. As you can see, I was doing some funny stuff down on the wing. Cross it in, and that is the man himself at the back post, just doing dirty stuff. I'm not entirely sure how, but Robin seems to score headers quite often. That guy makes an error with his goalkeeper, and uh, I capitalize on that, and it worked out pretty well. This team is a lot of fun to use, um, and like I said, I'm just making this because it's a top four side. Of course, I could have put in a whole lot more Bayern Munich and Dortmund players, and it probably would have been a better side but you know what's the point in that um, you know I wanted to get a, a mixture of players maybe make it a maximum of three from each team just because that, that way it's a little bit better so yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this little video and of course if you did then make sure you leave a like this team is a lot of fun to use so if you guys would like to recreate it feel free to do so but let me know as always in the comment who do you think is going to finish in the top four in the Bundesliga I'll catch you guys in a little bit and if we can get this video to 3,000 likes that would be amazing have an awesome day guys and I'll catch you later Bye bye